Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCarrick. Welcome to my channel. Um, I just got done doing my experimental pour and now I'm going to re-pour this um, metal piece that will become a face of a clock. Because downtown I had a uh, my playful bear clock sold the clock, the face, but not the whole piece. So now I need to find a replacement clock face to go with my playful bear. So that's what this is going to become. I didn't like the way this turned out. Eww. I'm going to re-pour over this and hopefully get something really pretty out of this. And I'm getting really near the end of my uh, multi-pro here. I need to uh, decant my other container and start getting it debubbled. Okay, let's go with that. So colors. So this here is Artez's Pearl Sky Blue with Golden Stalo Green and Zinc White by Golden. And here, this is Amsterdam's uh, bluish green with treasure gold's blue quartz and cerulean blue deep by golden. And this actually happens to be the same color combination I poured for the playful bear back in, I think it was May. The gold, my 24 karat by Deco Art and my Golden's Iridescent Gold. Yeah, this is just one that I just this minute decided I'm going to do it, redo it now. You know, I tell you, there's just some feeling you get, I, I at least I do, when I'm doing things, I just kind of get a feel that this is the time for this. Feels like the right time, right place. And then I just kind of go for it. Sometimes I wake up thinking the night before, I'm going I'm to do this today. And then I wake up and I don't feel, I don't feel into it. I'm not right. I don't know if that happens to any of you guys. If it does, let me know. I really do kind of trust that bone of, uh, the intuition bone. I think the older I get, the more I try to be, not to feel, not to be zenish, but I feel a little more connected to what I'm doing, I guess. I don't know what the word is. That was Sea Glass by TLP, primarily with a drop of Pearl Sea Green by Arteza. And this is my combination for Pearl Gray. Pearl Gray. <laughs> Payne's Gray. <laughs> From Arteza and Golden. Just a beautiful bluish, deep bluish gray. And I'm going to blow this out with my lungs and I'm going to use my uh, Australian Floatrol cell activator since I already got it over here. <sighs> Get my lungs ready. Here we go. So if you've been watching me, you know I usually like to talk through the blow. I haven't done it in a while, so I'm gonna refresh. So I, I blow down straight into the cell activator to start with to try to get it to form and open up in as much of a circle as possible. And then once I start to see a little ridge form where the cell activator is meeting into the paints, I blow on that ridge and try to blow that cell activator out and skim it over the top of the paints while I'm blowing the paints out over the pillow. And you have to be very careful to blow on an angle so that you're it. blowing Woo! out and not straight down at this point so you don't blow into the pillow like I did in my first blow there and a little bit right there. You gotta be careful to get the paints to skim over the top and not have your breath blow into the pillow. Whoa. 
lightheaded. Yes, this one was definitely the challenge for my lungs, and I fear that one of these days I'll topple over right in front of everybody. Concentrated. So as I go through my videos and edit, I always try to eliminate all of the mundane. And if I'm doing something that's repetitive, I'll just skip through as I get to the okay. end of the process. Here we go. Get this thing centered up. So one thing I don't always point out is uh, before I get ready to spin on smaller pieces, I do try to get the pillow all the way to the edge and even over the edge. So as I spin it, it has a nice place to flow to. Side going off already. That's okay, it was leaning that way anyway. Now on bigger pieces like Lazy Susan's, I do it a little bit differently and you'll just have to see those videos to see how. Yeah, went little, a little deep on the blow right there. And there. Now, as taboo as hitting the pillow is in convention of the bloom technique, it's not always a horrible thing. Oftentimes, even hitting the pillow, there will be some veining or lacing going through it, and it provides a little relief in the piece. Okay, let's tilt it a little bit and get it a little off kilter. Middle's gonna be really pretty, and then I'm gonna cover it up with a clock face. Now, during my experience, I've often beaten myself up for not creating something technically correct, but oftentimes you just have to let it develop and see if it becomes a aesthetically pleasing piece. I'm in a rush to get this done. I should be patient, because patience is the key. I've said that a few times. Patience is always the key. Let it run slow. Let it get there. Almost there. Just a little more stretching. I still got to get some more off. Okay. And yes, you want to make sure you're spinning enough so that you're getting enough paint off because you don't want to have it drying and then crack. A little bit more. I'm almost done. This is a quick one. Quick one! All right. I think this is done. Look at this guy, beautiful. Just beautiful, I love this color combination. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here are the up close details of the resin results with some of the nooks and crannies that you can see here. And I love how this turned out. And I love that this playful bear is now a full playful bear playing with the earth and the moon. And I'll give you a shot of the whole piece in a second. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please join me. Hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. Leave a comment. I always get back and a thumbs up would be nice too. And speaking of playful bears, if you'd like to see some video shorts of my playful bears, check out my playful bear playlist. I will link it as well as my clock creations playlist at the end of the video. So I just flashed up the playful bear inspiration for this piece since this stand that I got from a friend up the road just reminded me of a playful bear. So the playful bear, in my mind, is holding the earth and the moon, and he's juggling them around. And as you know, I love my bears in my neighborhood. And I'm taking a little more time at the end of my videos to start showing my pieces a little more because I think I've been doing myself a disservice not giving the full enchilada. So that's all for now, everybody. Take care until next time, and thank you for joining me.